Hello, this is APAD TV Admin and today I'm presenting to you a review of the new Team G Super 8 E1 Octa-Core Android Tablet PC. Okay, now this is a this is a preview unit straight from the factory and uh, there's no packaging to unbox so uh, we've got the unit and a promotional brochure. So I'm going to power on the unit and we'll boot it up. There we go, it's powering on now. Okay, while that powers on we can check out the brochure that comes with it at the moment. Okay, Team G. There's a couple of pages there. Some pitch, promotional pictures and stuff. Okay, okay, the tablet's already booted straight away. Now uh, what I'll do is I'll go in there and I'll set the brightness up a little bit. Okay, it's on the full brightness at the moment. Now it is a little bit bright in here, actually. So uh, what I'll do, I think, is I'll just turn off the light because uh, I'm surrounded by two big windows behind me and to the right of me. And uh, I mean, it's significantly bright in here, so the light going off helps a little bit. Okay, now if we check the battery, 90, 97% charge on the battery. So we can do an Antutu test, there's no problem. So I'm just going to check the physical build quality, so I'll lock the screen with a power button. All right, nice beveled edge, very Samsung-like, like a very large Samsung phone. You have a camera at the back here with a light sensor. Three G phone plus tablet, the uh, the Super Eight. You got SIM socket. It's a little clickable panel, just clicks out, fits pretty well. You can put your SIM straight in there. TF card slot. You got a like a, a docking port there. HDMI. I think that's a that's a looks like a USB, but it's not. It's like a USB three actually. It looks like um, HDMI, headphones, power, and here we have a reset or a mic. There's no mic up the top, so I'm thinking that's what it is. Okay, we've got camera with a proximity sensor and light sensor. Okay, for your automatic, um, I would say that's the reset. I would say that's the reset on the side there. Okay, it's got volume up and down, power. And you've also got a home button, a back button, and uh, a menu button as well. So. Uh, so now I've checked that out. Let's um, let's see what this this eight core machine can get on N two two. Right. Okay. So we did a previous test. And it's twenty five thousand three hundred and twenty nine. I'm going to run the test again so you can see it actually doing that. So you can see it's a genuine uh, genuine score. And while that does the test start test. While that does the test I can go through the specifications. Uh, it's Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It's got 3G and phone. You can use a GSM SIM or uh, a 3G WCDMA uh, SIM card in there. It's got GPS and a GPS. So it's got the latest version of GPS which is uh, satellite GPS and it will work, work with navigation um, Google Maps and so on. It's a proper GPS chipset and it's fully functional. Um, it's got eight CPU cores running at 1.6 gigahertz. It's the, the screen resolution is 1280 by 800 so it's very good for games and videos, 720p videos specifically. And But it can play uh, with this amount of power in this unit it can easily play uh, 1080p and 4k video no problem at all. It's got Bluetooth 4,400 uh, milliampers per hour battery, so you've got plenty, plenty of battery in there. 8 inch IPS screen, it's got a uh, 16 gigabyte of uh, system and storage ROM and it's got 2 gigabyte of DDR3 RAM and uh, it's got it's Play Store support. Now this, this particular model straight from the factory, the Play Store support um, is, 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 Play Store's not been installed on it but it's, it's compatible and uh, on the the retail editions of this tablet which will be available in a couple of weeks 
uh, it will have Play Store pre-installed. It's just not on this particular model. I've got it in my hands right now. Okay, it's doing the 3D test now. Oh wow, we're getting like a massive frame rate. I mean, and this is a high-res uh, screen as well. I mean, you're thinking, uh, and too, too, a lot of people say, well, it's very skewed against Chinese devices and uh, because of all the, the big players like uh, Sony and Nokia and, and so on and so on, that they, they sort of like have a marketing arrangement with Antutu. But ultimately, at the end of the day, this, this tablet's got such raw power that we don't even have to worry about things like that because uh, we're, we're pulling in a, a sort of like a second place top score, even at this high res. So this eight core Android tablet is beating um, most of the top devices and at a higher res as well. Okay, it's nearly done. It's just testing SD card write speed, the built-in SD card, the storage ROM SD card. And we'll go through the, the specifications on the... Uh... Oh, we get a better score this time because I just freshly booted and I had no applications running in the background. Now I'm going to try and focus in manually here. So. 26,668. Now if we look at the ranking, and we want uh, like a chart, that's uh, not like that though. Scores. Ah, it's not giving me the chart I want. I want a, like a bar chart, and you can see all the other devices. I'm not getting it now. Okay, let's go to, let's go to the system info anyway. Okay, let's zoom in and uh, focus on these specifications in Antutu that's being reported now. Now, this is not the latest version of Antutu. You can see it's 3.1.1, and uh, it doesn't, Antutu doesn't even know what a quad core is, basically. It's Exynos 5410. Got six, it's, a, it's a genuine, I mean, I say genuine, it's, it's more like uh, with specifications on CPUs for tablets, uh, in specifications you'll read on tablets, it will say this CPU, it, you know, the rating of the CPU, and that is basically what the CPU can operate at. But as a, the tablet is a mobile device that's portable, there's an efficiency factor that's also taken into account when setting the speed on tablets and often uh, you can have a device and it will say the CPU is rated at 1.6 but the firmware will set that at 1.4 because it's, it's more efficient but this is actually running at uh, 1.6 per, per core, 8 cores, octa-core. You see a screen resolution 800 by 1280 you see got Power VR, SGX 544MP GPU which is the, the GPU of choice right now on powerful tablets. You can see the storage. This is the 16 gigabyte model. We've got seven point, it's, a, it's pretty much an eight megapixel uh, camera. It's 4.2.2. There we go, there's, your, there's the specifications there. Now, I wanted to compare it to some of the other mainstream devices because this is, I mean, look, you can, you can click and do a uh, bar chart. Give me that bar chart. There it is, there we go. Here's the bar chart. So now if I zoom back a little bit and uh, I'll focus in there. So you see we've got... Uh, see now the Galaxy S4 is a much smaller screen. You see, so this is, this is getting such a high score, it's beating all of these other much more expensive devices which have much lower specifications than this octa-core. Which is, I mean, just, you can't really argue with just raw power that the octa-core has. And for the price, it's, it's really untouchable right now. I mean, when, as these items come into stock from the factory, at the resellers, these things are going to be going like hotcakes. So, uh, I mean, I don't want to sound like a salesperson, but uh, really get your orders in for one of these because these are going to be much sought after for, for, for the next few months. Back orders. So, so get all of your orders in and you'll secure yourself one of these right now if you order right now you'll have no problems just get yourself in the queue and uh, this is awesome I mean the build quality is lovely I mean look at how plush the edging is on the corner there glass fronted screen with a, a nice really high quality back it's it's I mean it's to be honest it it feels more modern and better than any of the Samsung models right now 
I'll be totally honest with you. And it's bigger, which is better. And it's very light as well. That's got the battery inside and uh, that actually feels as heavy as a phone. And this is a tablet. This is an 8 inch tablet. So uh, this is the first preview model of the um, the Team G Super 8E1 octa-core Android tablet. And, uh, and there we go. And look at that score. That's massive. I've been rotating it all around. <laughs> okay, but uh, let's just have a, before I just wrap up the review, let's just see what apps are on this uh, preview model and see how it's going to operate. Okay, let's check the browsing experience. Oh, okay, I think I need to, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll wrap this video up and uh, I'll shoot another browsing experience video so you can check that out as well. But uh, remember to subscribe to the uh, APAD TV uh, admin YouTube channel and also subscribe to the APAD TV YouTube channel which is the edited uh, uh, presentable videos. This is just the raw channel. And also head over to uh, APAD.TV for the technical forum for pictures, reviews, technical advice, custom ROMs and uh, a number of resellers there you can you can choose where to buy from. Now this, this octa-core tablet is available to order right now from dealsprime.com which is where uh, I obtained this sample. So uh, I suggest head over to dealsprime.com. The buy link is in the video because we've got to support them because they support us and uh, supply us with such new devices. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, check, out the, to check out the YouTube channel and you can see the other parts of this video. Okay, this is APAD TV Admin signing out. Thank you, bye bye.